two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Well, we've encountered hundreds of lighthouses since um, arriving in Maine and sailing all the way down here currently in Annapolis, but this is by far the weirdest one ever. Look at that. I have never ever seen a lighthouse like this. This is such a cool pretty anchorage. We're still in the Chesapeake and this reminds us so much of in a way of Maine with all these little alcoves and little alleys that you can go up. This is very pretty. We are here at Hornus Creek and there's these hundreds of these things, little, the video will not always zoom in, but there's hundreds of these jellyfish. It's again sunset and all these Jellyfish is busy coming to the surface, so <laughs> I think you can only swim during the day. But we got more neighbors. So, Rover, the white boat, is a single-handed sailor, and she she came up, yeah, it's a she, very old lady, came up to raft next to the blue boat, His name is Eclipse, and they were three ladies as well. And they anchored and set up the whole thing for the rover to. And now they are all over there. You can hear them from here. But yeah, that was the only boat when we arrived. And then all these others started to come in. And even here at the back, also more people. And we're going to enjoy a lovely sunset. approaching Church Creek and it is this small little space here I hope we can get through it's, it's through here and that is Church Creek um, tomorrow we need to be there to again to work on our alternator so we thought we're going to take a chance here but it's going to be narrow hey my goodness and that is 50 meters, 100 meters. Yeah, that's 25. We might make it. I think it's 
Oh. I think we are good. If that is 25 meters, I think we will be able to go through there. Okay, I think we made it through. So now it's just in here. <laughs> and somewhere there I need to go right. Man, very beautiful. So we found our spot here in Church Creek. And this is how it looks outside. Let me go show you. It seems like we are the only boat at anchor. So I hope we are allowed to be here at anchor. It is an anchor spot. But maybe it's already late sudden day. So that it looks pretty, pretty, pretty over here. Sure. A whole little alcove all to ourselves. Liberty Marina. Oh, some yeah. of these boats have been here for a long time. The diesel long is time. not that expensive here. It's less than five dollars. Less than five? Yeah. Wow. Now we've always been paying in excess of five, eh? And mobile gas is less than four dollars. Sure. So we can fill up the bags here. Now we need it. We need to fill up LPG, I think that's the most important at this stage. Liberty Marina, Edgewater, Maryland. Yeah, 399 and 448, shoot, sure, that's a huge difference. Sun is a little bit tough, but yeah, we paid $20 for the privilege to have some steaks here at the restaurant. It's <laughs> <laughs> also the peanut price. Yeah. Uh, but he reckons they're twenty-five dollars, which is cheap because we paid forty-eight. Remember? That's it. Yeah, so twenty-five is dirt cheap. Huh? Oh, we're gonna go up and down. I don't know. Well, there's nobody up here. Yeah, oh, let us go in here. Maybe we should go up. motor sailing the wind is coming from that direction but the waves is coming from this direction so and now it's calm but every now and then we get like quite a big wave coming but this is the this is what's going to bring, bring that big wind reversal <laughs> tonight or to, tomorrow morning so it's already coming you can see the skies are telling us a story We are entering now the Potomac River and this is the mouth of the river. You can just, just see the other side. And that's a Chesapeake Bay. 
which is still, it's almost like a sea. You cannot see the other side. So we are now at the exit point or the mouth of the Potomac River. It's huge. <laughs> Yo, very big. You got, if you guys look here, then you can see this is the mouth. That's the mouth at the edges all the way to somewhere there and then this side come on just just two and then behind us is the Chesapeake Bay so we're not even close to the sea yet we are about say 75 miles away from the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay but yeah so this is just a, a Potomac Potomac so we're going all the way up there to Washington DC oh my goodness we haven't been in weather like this out on the sea for a long long time and this is unexpected and unpredicted so this wasn't supposed to be here until late tonight but look at us they predicted 16 17 apparent a uh, true there it's gone up to 26. Uh, that is more time. Uh, we still need to anchor <laughs> it's going to be fun to anchor today that's supposed to be at four o'clock and it is well an hour and a half earlier but it was supposed to start yeah and now it's already what 25 knots of wind sustained much higher much much higher and we we just entered this little creek here and over here that that one over there in horseshoe is where the first Maryland's uh, capital was. Oh, and this is uh, St. Mary's. Oh, cool. So this is St. Mary River. So we're very close. Uh, but I don't mind, we can stay a while till this rain passes, but Moa has to go out and do the anchor. So yeah. if it doesn't rain, it'll suit me better. <laughs> The clouds is still there and you can see it is bumping out there but look at the water here it is just amazing in this creek we are in St. Michael's river it is the water is so calm here and actually no wind here and you can see Winter is coming, the leaves is busy changing colors and there's even a, a little yacht club, very scenic. This is now after Fiona passed. It was it was not close to us. It was around, I would say, 400 to 500 miles from us. But it did cause some rain and some heavy winds over here. But this place was proving to be pretty well protected. And we're now going up. We need to get to Washington DC up the Pontemax or somewhere that way. And then turn right. And then we will, maybe in two days time, we will be in Washington DC. And then from there, we will need to go and visit DC and then come back here, somewhere here. Because over here, as you can see, is, is much more protection than over in a Potomac. So we need to get back somewhere here to get protection for the new hurricane that's coming up it's not named yet but 
<laughs> the weather predictions can already tell us that it's going to be a big one and it's going to hit Chesapeake Bay or get landfall very close to Hatteras or Chesapeake at this moment so we want to be ready so let's lift the anchor who's are you up or down uh, up or down uh, are you up okay yes. I'll do the anchor in the Potomac River Potomac River on our way to DC so we've got a bridge to negotiate but that is ample space I can't believe we're gonna do DC it's gonna take us another day to get there so from almost the beginning of the, or the end of the part of that Potomac River I keep on saying that wrong to DC it's about two days traveling we are getting to the end of today's passage this is a Potomac River so we're still in the river of course we are and our destination is right in front of okay not right it's in front of us but still an hour to go before we will get there and it is still cold and miserable and Fiona is not anymore a hurricane but Canada is now feeling all the all the weather it is going to be a good sunset we're here next to the Potomac river yes the river is like quite big river <laughs> you cannot think it's so big and we're having we try the we, we try to get courage for the crabs but still no courage yet and Sisu is somewhere there waiting for us it's a nice evening good morning we are getting ready to have some tea Check the sun is coming over the Potomac. Such a lovely place. We went yesterday to the restaurant over there. Still, in, still didn't get some courage to get the crab. <laughs> but it did have a lovely steak. This place over here was pumping with music too about 11 o'clock then everything stopped and became quiet overall pretty nice anchorage so we are trying to sail but look at this <laughs> this very sad looking genoa i mean it's so i can even make us some wind it's a very sad, sad, sad little. But I have a bigger problem. <laughs> Wind is not really a problem for us now. We are on our way to Washington DC and a couple of our friends went already up here. And But the Leopard 35 friends that went up here, they have an ICW mast. So it means the, the mast is shorter to go below the I think they can go 65 bridges the 65 foot bridges so I only know we have 22 meters 22 point something meters mast so I looked up I saw here one of these little red points and and just for for the record we will reach there at 1120 so that was one of the things that we need to note tell you now why so if you look here I, I I saw it when I was tracing whether we will have where we will have any hazards and so on and then I saw this two little ex exclamation marks which means there's something and when I when you zoom in you have to really zoom in there's an overhead cable and a clearance is 70 feet but it says Fourth clearance, 70 feet. So if I look at the tide table, 
then if you see on this idea uh, so we are now here so we are and we're going to reach there by 11.21 so we will be there which means it's a 20 centimeter difference from from there so from 40 so it's 20 so the tide will help us with 20 which I think <laughs> oh man I don't like to say think I want to know and so I think we might clear the windexes. I'm not sure whether they're higher than 20 centimeters off the top of the mast. And we don't have enough liquids and things to push us down. We are pretty much empty on, on all the fuel and liquids and things on a boat. So I think we're just going to go very slow. <laughs> And we will go close closer to the pylons because the lines is doing this. I think I need to maybe get some other Leopard 45 friends on the line and find out whether they've made it. Yeah, so our fuel tanks is pretty low. Our beer is pretty low. The wine is pretty low, the water is pretty low, and we cannot make water. So we cannot make ourselves heavier. It's going to be 70 feet. That's an issue if you're always working in meters and metric, and then you come to a country which is still in feet. The Reddit power cable. make it or not it's more or less the middle and I guess time is going to tell soon so the dreaded power cables is ahead of us and there's a lot of lights and it's a big power station so I can just presume it is loaded with power like thousands of volts so just one just one little touch to do the VHF antenna and we we are, we are a conductor of a lightning strike I'm sure so and the thing is that I would like to know is and I see it only on a NOAA charge the American charts they say authorized clearance so what does authorized clearance mean? Does it mean the cables is higher but only a 70 foot mast can go through there and a 70 foot and lower mast can go through there or is the cable at mean high tide? I don't know. It is the... No, I didn't learn what is authorized clearance. Is it the horizontal clearance or vertical clearance? We don't know. Or is it that at the is it that maybe on the side of the river is 70 feet but the middle is hundred and what is the middle say? And if we zoom out, you only see the blocks, but if we zoom in it says Overhead power cable, authorized clearance 70 feet, 150, 170 feet over main cable, overhead, no, it says over main cable, so it must be 170 feet high, but what is authorized clearance? I don't want to become a lightning bolt. And you? Yes. <laughs> so the power plant is in Virginia and the wires is running to Maryland 
So Maryland, sorry if you have a blackout very soon. <laughs> but we will be black. <laughs> Burned black. <laughs> we are getting here. So we're getting also close to the pylon. So we <laughs> can miss the hanging of the wires. But it looks like we are okay. Made it! Yep. That was not, but I think we did it good. Very, very tall wires. So this, this tuck just asked me to go faster and then go in front of him so he can take my stern. But just check all these, the girls is taking a free ride. <laughs> it's amazing. Hundreds of them behind me. I wonder what they're picking up. Yeah, we're motor sailing. There's enough wind to sail, but we also have this huge storm, and they predicted it's going to be a big one. Lightning strikes all over, and that will be around when we anchored. So we we were thinking if we can just beat it by half an hour, maybe. We'll just have some rain and heavy wind and we can anchor. So we are motoring. The other choice is we should maybe anchor around here and hopefully just wait out the storm here. But <laughs> you will not believe it. Everything here is shallow water. Shallow, shallow, shallow. Another bridge that we are negotiating but it seems according to all the comments on Navionics that we should be able to make it but that's okay but look at that Woodrow Wilson Memorial Bridge Talk about the Washington statue Tallest structure in DC. Officially, they say. We have lots of airplanes taking off like every second and the storm is right there it started to rain but i think we will make it it looks like that you know, there's lots of thunder and stuff in the air but it looks like it will go that way so we might might just have a good anchor experience here in dc okay I think the rain caught up with us. <laughs> we thought we can get here quick enough, but it is rain. So we just passed the Putro Wilson Bridge. Went underneath it. I think, I think that is Virginia. The side is Maryland, and that side is District of Columbia, DC. We are anchored here in the Washington Channel. There is the monument, the famous one, and we are having a braai. Because that's what South Africans do. We braai in DC. Good morning. Yeah, from Washington DC, and it is it's much better morning this morning with 
not so many clouds, look like it's going to be a little bit hot. And we've been woken up by helicopters, those presidential helicopters that's coming, <laughs> flying over here. And as well, these guys from 5 o'clock this morning making this huge noise. Lots of runners here as well. Looks like a lot of healthy people here in Washington.